Hey guys, what's going on? Did you have your coffee yet today? If, if you are a coffee drinker, that is. There we go. Um, cool notes for you guys. Wrote these down yesterday, and today I was like, you know what? I'm going to meditate on them, wake up tomorrow, and spit the fire. So first thing I've got here is, you know, this this just really hit me hard. I was listening to a podcast, um, and uh, it was, again, with <laughs> it said Russell Brunson, and he was talking about how once you strategically put things together and connect things, that's when the big stuff starts coming. And that hit me really hard because I think uh, as an entrepreneur and just someone in business in general, we get so caught up with what we're going to be doing the next day, the next day, the next day. We don't really take the sufficient time that we should to take a step back and like, okay, what am I going to accomplish over the next 30 days? What am I going to accomplish over the next 60 days? 90 days, especially if anyone's ever read Traction by Gino Wickman, highly recommend it. That book's really big on the 90 day plan. And then beyond that, you know, I was on a podcast recently with my buddy, Rob Cook, and he was like, what are your plans over the next 10 to 20 years? 10 to 20 years is a bit audacious, but it's always good to have something like that in the back of your head, um, especially when it's a plan and you can put together a business plan, you know, even if it's just your own personal business plan on the direction you want to go say over the next 90 days to three years. I was looking at what I have in front of me as far as plans. And I'm like, you know what, I got to, I got to get back, back to the drawing board and, and restructure this. So when I heard that quote in the show, I was just like, man, if <laughs> someone who's making just, you know, someone who's on the way on the way to a billion is talking about how when you strategically put things together and connect things, that's when the big stuff starts coming. If someone like that is saying something like that, you should probably listen. So I'm like, all right, time to get a plan. So if you guys don't have a, a, even a personal business plan put together over what you're going to be doing and accomplishing over the next 90 days, I highly recommend it. Take some time out of your day, get a pen and pencil, pen or pencil <laughs> and write it down. Um, one fun, fun thing, cool thing I've been sharing a lot lately is the power of an email list and a big takeaway and lesson that I've learned is, um, you know, if you have an email list and well, first of all, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're in, you know, running a small business, et cetera, if you don't have an email list, um, even if you're in sales, I would say uh, that's something that you really need to put a lot of energy on and start focusing on building because, uh, well, for a handful of reasons and one, uh, based on stats run by ClickFunnels, if you have an email list and you're not on average making at least a dollar per month uh, based on the list that you have, then you're probably not doing something right. And that's another thing that hit me pretty hard. And I've shared that with the Next Level Mastermind and a few times on LinkedIn too. And it's really gotten the, the brain juices flowing in regards to uh, getting that list put together. And I think actually might have a pretty cool project coming your way from the Next Level Mastermind because of that. Um, but also another thing is building a list is only going to get harder and harder. For example, um, you know, just capturing email, everyone's going to start learning this information. Everyone, everyone's going to start realizing like this, you know, the money is in the list. So it's kind of like, what is the next big thing after this in regards to generating business and something to just, you know, keep in touch with uh, for me. If you haven't learned already, I, you know, I go to a lot of ClickFunnels and Russell Brunson content to figure out what's going to be next, what, how to stay ahead of the curve. And it's been very valuable. Um, also, by staying ahead of the curve, you can't, <laughs> it does not hurt you at all to be constantly creating content. Um, you know, the people who are performing at the highest levels are producing anywhere from three to 15 pieces of content on a daily basis. I know for a lot of us, that seems crazy. We can barely even get out one thing. Uh, but when you put more of your energy into the creative side of things, what ends up happening is you become a trendsetter and you stay ahead of the curve and you don't have to worry about what's going to happen with the algorithm or anything like that when you're constantly looking for how can I create content? Most importantly, how can I serve individuals with the content that I'm creating, not just creating, uh, as Prince EA, Prince EA once said in a speech I heard him give, not creating clickbait, creating click food. You know, when someone clicks on your stuff, you're actually feeding them. You're giving them something that can help them take their life to the hashtag next level. Um, so huge takeaway. Wrote that down yesterday. And then lastly, uh, repetition is the mother of learning. I actually just heard that uh, this morning and I wrote that down to share with you guys here. Mother uh, repetition is the mother of learning. And I'm going to use this video as an example for the past couple of weeks I've been doing on the fly videos like this sharing notes and thoughts and ideas that came to my head and I still am figuring out how do I want to structure videos and content like this I really don't know yet but I do know that I'm going to press record I do know I'm going to talk I do I'm going to share it with you and so 
as you continue to you know, follow these quick little snippet se uh, sessions, you'll start to see, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to get better and better and better at it because I'm repeating myself. And I don't know, I'd say this is probably video number seven or eight like this that I've done recently. And I definitely feel a lot more confident and more better doing it now. And that's because I've been practicing and practicing and practicing. So another cool quote that I love, he who experiments the most or she who experiments the most wins. So don't be afraid to experiment. If you can try something new every day, uh, even if it's just, you know, tying your shoes uh, with your pinkies and your thumbs, I don't know, just, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily a good one, but it, it, I'm sure it'll cause your brain to think in a way that it hasn't thought before. Anyways, try something new every day. Experimentation, whoever experiments the most wins. Repetition is the mother of learning. Put together a plan, build up that email list, guys. And most importantly, look for ways to stay, to stay ahead of the curve. And one of the best ways to stay ahead of the curve is to continue creating content that adds value. So it's not clickbait, it's click food. Thank you for tuning into this special message. My name is Adam Carswell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it to the next level.